Starting live video. We are live. There we go. Can you see? Yes. All right. I mean, it, this isn't working. It's not working. There. It looks like there. it's working to me. There. Okay, good. And see, so we get a nice upshot. Yes. And that's what we want. Yes, it is. So we are live. Hi, everybody. We don't have any we don't have any viewers yet, but that's okay. We're gonna we're just testing things out. See if I can get the camera straight. There we go. Okay. All right. So nobody's joined us yet. Okay. But that's okay because there are gonna be people watching this later and it's gonna be broadcast, you know, continue. It's gonna still be up on Facebook, but I gotta get us straight. Yeah, we gotta get us all straightened out. It's straightened here. There we go. So if you're joining us and you see that little red button right there that says live, that means we are live. What's the time? We got the time. The time is about. Uh, well, my watch is upside down. I was gonna say. <laughs> it is uh, about two minutes till seven. Okay, so we're early. We're gonna go on at seven o'clock. Yeah. This is good because I can't see my receding hairline now. See, I just hold my head up. Oh well, back. we want to so, see it though. You want to? See well, I won't leave it, leave it too down, leave it down too far. Anyway, this is Gigi Thomas with Gigi Thomas Aesthetics, and you probably already know that because if you're watching this, then you're on her page. Right. So this is she is a a, a virgin live broadcaster <laughs> on Facebook. Yes. So she's doing this the first time. How do you look? Are you happy with this? No. You're not. Why not? Just you know. Does that explain I, it? No. <laughs> You're cute. Thank you. You're cute. That's very sweet. You're All right. Cute well, thanks. Look at my receding hairline. So let's get something straight up, up first. Uh, people have said, have talked to me about my sister Gigi. And Gigi's not my sister. <laughs> and no, we're not married, not to each other. No. Right. So uh, anyway. Well, we are partners in crime. Yes, we are. For we've, years. We've known each other since. Can I say? Should I say? Absolutely. 1989. We worked That's at Boardwalk right. and Baseball yeah. together, which closed shortly after I left, but it was not our fault. No, it wasn't. <laughs> as far as we know. <laughs> well, there was that one thing. <laughs> no, it wasn't us. We also used to do a show, not together, but separately. We did a show called Chicken and Pickin'. Chicken and Pickin'. I swear we did it together. No, we I, never did it together. We would have been so good, though. No, but we would have been good. We would have been good. Chicken and Pickin'. Did you... Do you, that was the beginning of the Sweeney's. Do you realize that? No, I didn't. Yes, because I didn't that. Uh, the family name in Chicken and Pickin was the Sweeney's. That's where I got Sweeney from. Is that why I remember? That's that? where it came from. So, and my name was Slim Sweeney, and it still is with my act today. Right. And it's I so don't. Fun. I love it. Do you, did you have a Sweeney name? Do you remember? I don't remember. No, I don't even remember what I did. We I were, got UMC, and then I just. Like dance with people? No, I was I was there like five nights a week, and you were there. I think I was there six nights, no, five nights a week, and you were there with two nights a week. Right. Something yeah, like that. I you, remember doing it at Sea World too. Yeah. I had to do it at Chicken at Chicken, at the chicken and Biscuits. biscuits right. Chicken and Biscuits. So yeah. After we, we were Lindy, we did Chicken and Biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there was Joel and Tracy, and Joel played the guitar, Tracy played the piano, and we That's did great. country I songs, and then we had a, a lady that came out and clogged. <laughs> Right, that wasn't me. Yeah, and that's where I came up with the Sweeney jokes with, um, um, like, Meanie Sweeney, the hateful one in the family. <laughs> and And the one with the wooden leg, Leany Sweeney. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to be useless. I'm going to be useless. I'm gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that was, that was where... When uh, when a friend came up and said, "Hey, let's start a swamp band," I said, "I got, I, I got the act. We got the act." So anyway, so oh, somebody funny. just joined us. We've got one viewer right now. Yeah, I can't see it. So whoever you are, hi. Hello. It's Greg and Gigi with uh, Gigi Thomas Cosmetics. Now that's going to be backwards, by the way. Oh, it is. Did you realize that? No. I... Facebook is it's like oh, a mirror yeah. image. Don't do so that. the G is going to be backwards. Yeah, well, that's just Gigi. Oh, it's your, See, yeah, that makes sense. It looks like it? that. Hmm. It's a mirror image. But we're going to be talking about her products later on. Right now, we're just talking about when we Us. knew each other back in <laughs> 1989. We met when we were three years old. Yes. So, <laughs> do you know I still have on videotape uh, one of the, I've got one, Super Bowl of Sports Trivia, and you're the stage manager, and I'm Chipper Witt. I've got to see it. 
I have oh, them too. I've got, you oh do? My God. I do. But I, oh my gosh, I've got to see it. <laughs> well, That's great. We'll have to take that. I will that transfer it to digital and I'll have to upload it on YouTube yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. So great. let's see. Julia Luciano. Oh, Julia. Hi, you know Julia. Julia. I do. Where's Julia from? Julia's in Orlando. Yeah. She is Steven Luciano, guitar player. Okay. And Rowena Flanders. Luciano Flanders. Okay. <laughs> I, you're Sorry, telling Rowena. me this like I know. Who yeah, Rowena, people know her. They know her. She okay. Was in Florida, have you have you done a facial for her? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Very Since cool. she was very young, but still doing yeah. it. Yeah. She's a very good. Client. Did you like it, Julia? Give us a thumbs up if you did. That's a. She can tell you everything about the products. Really? She 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 knows it inside out. She yeah. She's no great. kidding. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, if somebody were to come to you and you were to do a facial, you're going to send them home with a starter package. I know, right? Well, probably. Yeah. If they. If, they should do it that way. Okay, let's, I'm going to throw a word at you. But I don't push is what I'm trying to get at. That's, I'm not pushy. I'm and, just not. And that's the best thing. Yeah. So don't think if you come get a facial, you have to buy a product. You should, but I'm not pushy. <laughs> She's not pushy, yeah. but you should. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's talk anti-aging, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, somebody's going to come to you. You're going to give them a general, t t tell me because I'm not done it. You're going to give them a general facial. Right, so the first thing is they're going to fill out a medical release form. Okay. And that's not scary. It's just a few things. Like, what, what are you allergic to? Do you have any symptoms of anything that could be contraindications? And um, what medications are you on? So that, we have to have that so we don't have any problems. Oh, that's Alex. Alexander. Uh-huh. What does IMA mean? That's IMA. IMA? At the girlfriends, when we did the girlfriends, the high, oh, yeah. we'd say, I'm whoever, I'm Gigi. And, and somehow it came out, I'm Gigi. <laughs> By the way, can everybody hear us okay? We don't even know if you can hear us okay. I want to <laughs> that, that was just... Okay, I want to know what's that. Well, that was... Um, so we'll get back We'll get back to the products in a minute. Well, I worked when, so we were at the Hyatt for 11 years. Yes. It was terrific, the girlfriends. Um, so through that time, I had some jobs, you know, here and there. And so for a while, I worked for Estee Lauder. And when they had that gift with purchase, I said, I'm going to get us all snack pack. <laughs> He's never forgotten. <laughs> He'll probably throw up their porch mice in a minute. <laughs> porch mouse, but never mind. See, that's stuff we that's need to ours. find out about. Yeah. That's stuff we need Alexander. to find out about. I need some. Okay, so people are going to fill out a form. The questionnaire. Yeah, so they'll fill out the form, the questionnaire, and then we'll talk about uh, what concerns they have. Mm -hmm. And then I will put on some glasses that I can really see their skin and mm -hmm. the light. And, uh, that could be skin, scary. It's, it's fine. Okay. Because you're not going to get to see it. I see it. So I cleanse their skin and I get an idea of what they need. Um, you know, we this I don't do fluffy facials. Yeah. So they're not those feel good fluffy facials. That's good. Yeah, and that's what less fluff, more results. Alexander means. says he loves you. I love you back. He's right. <laughs> you need to be here. Um, well, I like that. You can play the piano while we were talking. Anyway, go ahead. See, that would be great. Where are you, Alexander? You should come over here. Oh, I just I got a mention on there. Oh, so good. I'm so lucky to have him. I am. I know that. I am lucky to have you. I know. She doesn't. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Yeah, right. They <laughs> <I> do. <laughs> all right. Let's get back to this. So, oh, yeah. so you get a look and you get to see so, all yeah, their so pores. So I can see everything. I'm going to see their pores. I'm going to see what's going on with their skin, if there's anything systemic that might need to be corrected. Now, that's more with younger kids with acne and stuff like that, but even older people. And okay, I'm um, from North Carolina. What does systemic mean? And this something in, internal okay. that would be causing okay. um, inflammation or, or acne. Like if I've been or, eating too much McDonald's or something. Really? Yeah. No, McDonald's? I oh, no. <laughs> Well, so sometimes heat and things can come from, we'll just figure it out. People can be resistant, not even necessarily allergic, but resistant to foods. But that's something that you, you go, wait a minute, hold on. This is not something in my wheelhouse, to a point, right? To yeah. a point. So what I can do is... If they have constant uh, redness, and we just kind of figure out when does that happen, mm -hmm. and take take notes, start logging it. When does it happen? What what were you doing? What were you eating? All those things, and we'll find out so many times that heat, and again, this is the oil production and acne. Heat will make you you know produce a little bit more oil, mm -hmm. which then makes you break out. So if you're working out or you're outside a lot, keep your skin cool. I just, so now I just got off of anti aging, kind of went into some. That's okay, but I'm, that's all right because you just open. So somebody's not going to come in and say, I'm here for my facial, and you go, okay, sit down, give them a yeah. facial. Thank you very much. Have a nice no, day. We, I log everything. 
Yeah. We love everything. So the other thing about heat is that heat can also come, and this is where the systemic comes in, uh, from things that you're eating. So mm. whey or wheat. Right. Those things will heat your body up. And really? Cause some, yes. Cause some, so you're a little resistant to it. Protein, a lot of protein. Chocolate's okay. By the way. So you're you're almost chocolate's what? It's fine. It is. Yeah, it's a great antioxidant. It really. And it doesn't. Um, yeah, it doesn't cause. Because you've heard that out. since you were a teenager. Oh, chocolate's gonna make you break out. Yeah, no. It doesn't. Really. No. No. Now, heat, now I find out. Wheat. Heat. Wheat. Heat. Yeah. Wheat. Anything that rhymes with eat. <laughs> so you're basically going to give them an exam and yeah, the facial, but it's a, it's a process. You're not just saying but thanks for coming in for the right. facial and, and see you next time, maybe. No, there's a lot of education, which I love. I yeah. love the education. I Who knew, you know, when I was 40, when we were 40, that we would love education and doing all this stuff. I know. I love it. So, yeah, so there's going to be some education. Any product they leave with mine, they're going to know exactly what they should see, uh, what the results are going to be, and how to use it. And well, What I think is really cool about what you do with this is that it was a natural progression because you were an entertainer. Right. All your life. Uh, yeah. So. 29 years in our life. So. Uh, taking care of your skin and your looks and everything is very important. Mm -hmm. It's what we do. And then you weren't just, you you had to research this stuff and look into it as to what you wanted. Right. Right? Right. So it kind of did go hand in hand. Actually, though, when I started, when I decided to change careers, mm -hmm. so at, you know, at the age of 40, and it took a couple of years to make that transition, I was going to be a makeup artist. So I went to Joe Blasco. Uh -huh. And the, the, Instructor there kept saying, well, if there's an esthetician on set, and I'm like, well, what a what? Really? And, I, and even when I worked as a makeup artist uh, for Estee Larson, we, we didn't talk about estheticians. It was just the skin, there was the skin care and this is the makeup. Mm -hmm. So he kept, so I thought, what's, I gotta, I gotta think I'm going to have to be an esthetician. My sister's watching. Okay. Angie. Oh, hi, Angie. My real sister. Your real sister. Yeah. So, so I anyway. decided to be an esthetician because they were licensed. Uh -huh. And I needed to have that. I, I figured that out. So... With that, I was very fortunate that I kind of landed a job right away that required me to have additional certifications, and some of them are advanced medical mm -hmm. certifications because I became <laughs> director of education for the state of Florida. Really? For, for you see, company. you learn something new so, every day. Yeah, so know. I would help the um, sales reps not sell the stuff, but but take it, not mine, but the products that we were, we were doing at the time, um, getting them into doctor's offices, salons, spas, and show them how to use it make room. Very cool. And they were great products. Um, so I was very fortunate to get that additional medical education, those certifications. Mm. And it just, the ingredient thing, I learned so much. And that's what it's about. It's about these ingredients. And sometimes packaging too. But, Not fluffy packaging, the correct packaging. Right. And, we'll and what, what you mean about that is... To protect the product. That's right. Yeah. Right. Now we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff uh, as we do several of these, but we want to get you guys used to it and feel free to ask questions, even if you don't see that red button there, um, which means it's been recorded earlier. Go ahead and ask the questions because Gigi will get a notification if you ask a question and right. she can answer your question. That's right. And I will. I'll be so happy to do that. Yes. Call me. Now, um, um, I was heading into somewhere else, and I totally forgot what I was going to say. The first thing you were going to say is you were going to ask me about anti-aging yes. and facials. So, the facial is going to kind of go however, whatever your skin needs. Okay, quick, so, wait, let me ask a question. Is anti-aging a real thing? Yeah, it is. Absolutely. It's, um, that's not the best word. I've it's not going to back it. things up, is it? No, not, well, it's a little bit. And, yeah. here's, and here's how. Um, to... To correct some of the damage we've already had done, mm -hmm. the best way is to get to have facials. You might mm -hmm. need one every two weeks. You might need one every four weeks. You might need one every six weeks. And uh -huh. a facial with me is going to consist of maybe an oxygen facial, uh, chemical peels, enzyme products, uh, or enzyme treatments, microdermabrasion, and light therapy. So well, those if... things all change the structure of the skin. I see. That's so it. so. You, you can back things up as in repair. As in repair. As in so repair. to do that, you want to have those those treatments uh -huh. and use a skincare line that's going to hold its own. Okay. You have to have it. We're going 
we're yeah. gonna we're gonna jump into a couple of things here that I find interesting. One is, and and we're gonna go all over the place because that's how my mind. Yeah, works. and I'm right there with them. <laughs> so, but we talked about this before. One of the things that always I'm very suspicious of advertisements on TV. Right. When they're got, they're like, here, use this cream, and it will uh, get rid of the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. The appearance, the appearance, the appearance of, of fine lines. That's, that, that's it. You got it. So, but so, but people hear what they hear is it gets rid of fine lines and wrinkles. Right. No, 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 it doesn't. It's rid of the appearance of. And tell them what that means. What that probably means is, I'll just use an ingredient that is on my radar right now. It's okay. dimethicone. Dimethicone. It's in so many things, and in some products, it's one of the first or second ingredients. What is dimethicone? Dimethicone is a silicone. Okay. And it kind of stays on the surface of the skin. It like kind of you would in. caulk your bathtub with? Well, yes. <laughs> oh and it scares me because it's it's not going to change the structure of the skin. It's going to make you look a little better while, better while you're wearing it. Uh -huh. And if you have sensitive skin or rosacea or acne, it's going to be awful. Really? So, yes, yeah, so don't do it. Don't yeah. Do it. So, so change the appearance of the stuff. It tightens it up and it does whatever it does. The appearance. Just while, and sometimes you have to reapply throughout the day or the night. Yeah. Yeah. You want to have something which is a cosmeceutical that penetrates deep enough to actually change the structure of the skin. And where would somebody find a cosmeceutical? Oh, I don't know. Probably with me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what what is what's well, a really, cosmeceutical? Because right. that sounds oh. like it is a blend of uh, of uh, Two products, a pharmaceutical and a cosmetic, which you would find at like your local drugstore. He's brilliant. <laughs> he's, I mean, he's right. So, so cosmetics are anything at the drugstores and the department stores. Those are cosmetics. And the supermarket. And the supermarket. And some salons have cosmetics. Mm -hmm. Then you have the other end of the spectrum, which is pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's the prescription. Mm -hmm. But in the middle is a cosmeceutical. The cosmeceuticals are governed by the FDA, which is excellent. Because even though it's, it's it's not holding us back, it's actually Jeff Ritchie. He's a fabulous singer in St. Louis. Yeah. In your St. Louis, yeah. He's, cool. He's rock. Hey, Jeff. So, it, um, what did I say? Oh, Cosmoceuticals. Cosmoceuticals. Um, <laughs> so, they're, we're governed by the FDA, which for me is a great thing. Uh -huh. Because then I'm I'm safe. You know, I know that what I'm getting is on board and it's, it's the way it should be. Mm -hmm. So, with it being governed, we have stronger uh, or we have higher percentages of active ingredients and oftentimes lower pH which means the product's going to penetrate better. Very cool. So you have a facial, you get rid of all the buildup, you use the products, bingo. Jeff said, there's my new wife. <laughs> Sorry, I'm already taken. But I'm fine. Sorry, the door was open. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. Hey, Roberta. <laughs> Roberta, oh my gosh, she was one of my best friends from grade school in really? Annapolis, Missouri. This is so fun. Cool. I love this. You're so great. No, it's, it's not me. Idea. It's Facebook. I just talked her into doing it. He's that was great. it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My now answer. we're going to move into something real quick. You guys, have, some of you have known Gigi for a long time. We've known each other for almost 30 years when we were three. Anyway, we were three. Um, one of the things that, that what was it going to bring up now? Oh, oh I know. We were going to talk about um, kitchen cabinet facials. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Have you guys ever done a kitchen cabinet facial? <laughs> Do you know what that is? <laughs> Sorry. Is that bummer for me or Gigi? <laughs> it's for you. <laughs> okay. Um, kitchen cabinet facial. This is when... Uh, That's his work, by the way. He but yeah, I came up with that. <clears throat> kitchen cabinet facial is when people go online and they're like, you see people on there going, this is the best way to do a facial. Don't go out and spend all that money at the local mall. All you have to do is go in the refrigerator and get some peanut butter and put it on your face. Right. <laughs> what or, a mess. Yeah. Or uh, or mayonnaise or or whatever. Yeah. And, no, don't. Yeah. Just don't. There, you know, probably the best result is that you'll get no result. Yeah. And the worst result is that you're going to have an allergic reaction. And I don't know. The best eating. when your face will taste really you know, good. Yeah, your face will taste good. The dog can lick it off. Um, and if you want to do something like that, I have a cocoa enzyme treatment. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. It has cocoa in it. And what? it smells good. But yeah, so what people run into is, um, for instance, we use cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cucumbers. Where are they? Everybody They're knows. Warm. Everybody knows that you, you want to get the red bags under your eyes. You take cucumbers and put them on your eyes, right? 
wrong. Okay. Yeah, so everybody knows that. So what you're getting, because That's what everybody thinks. Mostly water, yeah. you're just getting, it's just, I mean, if you put anything on your eyes that are soft and cold, it's going to. Feels good. It's going to do this, right? It's going to tighten everything up. It can stretch a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's so it. The, that's it. You're not going to. And so the couple things that you want to keep around on the cabinets, mm. um, baking soda. Now, that's weeks okay. ago. That's okay. It used in the right way. Yeah. So weeks ago, I kind of put my, I kind of stepped on some toes with the baking soda facials because there's, you shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. It's too active an ingredient to do a full facial with it. Maybe very irritating. But if you are, if you if you have a sunburn mm -hmm. or some type of, not a breakup, but a sunburn or some type of really discomforting um, skin irritation, you could put some baking really? soda. Yeah, so it'd be three to one. So to one part of baking soda to three parts water. It feels. It seems like it would just dry and fall off your face. Well, it would after a while. That's yeah. why you can't do a facial, but it will calm things down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's so cool. that's about as good as it gets. Well, you've seen on TV. We're not going to mention the doctor's name. For libel purposes. Um, you mean like Rob C. Was it? Yeah. Of... Yeah. <laughs> Did I just blow it? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think we're good though. But he said, uh, to t what was it? Uh, not avocado. He papaya. Said, papaya. Yeah. He just said, slice one, put it on your face. No. I don't believe one. No, don't. Don't do that. That is one of the most, that is probably, that's the fruit that people have the biggest reaction to. Really? Because it's so. Um, acidic. Acidic, and it's so strong. So he said, just take the papaya slice and have him put it on your face. I was like, Ugh, because <laughs> it really could cause a problem. I mean, it's on my forms. Are you allergic to any fruits? Are you allergic to papaya, really? pineapple? All right. I'm going to throw some things out there okay. for kitchen cabinet facials. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me if it does any good or and not? I'll tell you short answers. Okay. okay. Uh, mashed bananas. Not really. No. No. Or a cover peanut butter. Yeah. Yogurt. Possibly. Yeah. And here's why. Okay. Because it is a, a milk product, a dairy product, mm -hmm. it's going to be very close to a lactic acid mm -hmm. chemical peel, except oh, okay. not. So there's something in there, so you can get a little activity with that. Oh, really? So you, yeah, so you would feel it, um, but it's not going to penetrate into the skin. The molecule's too big, so you're not going to get the change, you know, the structure of the skin. You're not going to see those results. But it would do a little um, exfoliating, topically, just exfoliating a little bit. But Don't leave it on too long. The, the, the thing that about your products, it's all about the ingredients. It Vitamin is. C is a very important ingredient in it these is. products. And they are taking things like, um, for, instead of yogurt, they're actually concentrating uh, the, the, the things the that real, work. Right. So, so um, lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid, mm -hmm. and it comes for, from something that's fermented. It could be milk. It could be kind of, it's just anything that's fermented. What does that say? Jeff says he hears that potato skins work really good for eyes. <laughs> Jeff. No, I don't think so. No, just, just for the eyes on the potato. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. But anyway, go ahead. All right, I'm so, sorry. so lactic acid is, um, is a very active product, and then we use it as a chemical peel mostly. That's what Sometimes I Sometimes it's what in I was other. Doing. And in facial products that you're going to put on leave on, we use glycolic, which comes from sugar cane. I see. So we have it in the right proportions so of the right pH and the right um, concentration of the ingredient. Cool. So uh, however high or low or whatever. All right. Well, we just bounced all yeah, over the place. Yeah, I know. I don't even there. understand what I'm saying. That's all right. Okay. That's all right. I'm going to get back to, okay, if somebody were to come to you for a facial, You've got basically a starter kit for them. I yes, absolutely. So there's an acne star, starter kit. There's a travel kit, mm -hmm. which is kind of you know in the middle of the road, but anyone can use it. And there, it's handy because they're little small sizes. That's it. Yeah, this is. Hold it. that up so okay. everybody can see and it. And I can actually show you it so that you can see it. If they happen to want to buy that, they can go to ggthomasaesthetics.com. Yep. yep. And you know what? what? Don't ask me how much this is because I have forgotten. <laughs> I priced it. I know that I knocked it down like eighteen percent of what it would cost if you buy all this separately. Act now. I don't know. Darn it! <laughs> I can't say it. I can't That's all right. If you don't tell them, then they're going to have to go there. And they're going to have to go there and look, and you'll see it. It's there with the green towel and the. So this product right there is actually this product right here. So what is this that is, is this that a is cleanser? an oxygen cleanser, and that you can't really tell. It's pink. An oxygen. Oxygen. Cleanser. So what oxygen in the right percentage mm -hmm. and the right pH 
Not sprayed on the face like they do in some salons. Really? Yeah, penetra- yeah, it's, yeah, yeah penetra- it doesn't do anything. It just anything. falls on the floor. Really? They're sprayed. It's going, yeah. So an oxygen cleanser, an oxygen treatment has to be uh, controlled, the right, the right portions. And it's going to tighten up blood vessels. It's, you know, bacteria can't live in an oxygen state. So if you have acne or anything like that, that's one of the good. Really? So besides the sal salt cleanser, which we always use. Yeah, oxygen is great. I love it. I love cool. oxygen. Did so you that's use this product? I do. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. And then this one is this. It's not a, it's a toner. It's not an astringent. Okay. So I tell toners, just full of antioxidants. It's some CoQ10. Vital hydrant toner. Yeah. Okay. Hydrant is the thing. It's when backwards. When we travel, right. When we travel, we get dehydrated. This is true. Our skin and you, water probably not going to reach your skin. Drink your water, but it's, it's not the whole idea. It's not the whole Very answer. Cool. Of hydrating skin. And then what do they use? So they're going to wash. They're going to cleanse. Um, or they're going to cleanse. They're going to tone. And then they may just use go straight to the sunscreen, okay. which is not in this kit. Uh huh. Okay. It's a big. It's a big bottle, and you need a lot of it. And I what is the sunscreen? Out. What is the SPF in the sunscreen? It's a. It's a thirty. It's a thirty. However, so they're not going to get much sun at all. No, they're that. not. But this, this and that's sunscreen, okay. That's good. It's so good, you guys. I'm so excited. When should I can I change the sun? Go ahead. Just a little. All right. So it's your show. <laughs> I got my own show. I just so <laughs> so when I was looking for a skincare line to put my name on, mm-hmm. I looked a long time. Right. I tried a lot of products, and there were a couple of things that had to be there. For instance, the vitamin C had to be developed and packaged a certain way. So that had to happen. That was the first thing. Um, I don't make them myself because it's a little dangerous, I think. We don't want products that are made yeah. in the kitchen and then contaminated while we put them in the jar. I don't do that. So it's a private label company. So um, what in the world was I going to Oh, the vitamin C. So mm. so one of the things that was so great was that the vitamin C, uh, our, my information is that it's a new formulation of zinc oxide. Okay. So so it is. It's a, it's a, it is zinc oxide, but it starts out in a different form. So then it's not going to be as irritating, clump of course, and you don't need as much. So do I even have any out here? I don't. I have to go get it. So it's going to go on. It's not going to take very much. Mm-hmm. Um, you're going to spread it on, and then you do need to reapply if you get wet, if you perspire, something like that. Cool. And that's with any of them. When you get, like, when you, because I want you to go get a jar of it just a little bit, but about how long would that product last somebody if they used it on a daily basis? It's going to last about three or four months. Really? Yeah, it doesn't take much. And it's not, your skin's going to look beautiful. You don't even need another moisturizer with it. It's all you need. No The makeup kidding. goes on beautifully. Um, it's not going to irritate, like I said. Uh, acne clients. So you can put can that on, it. and then if they wear makeup, they can put that right on top. Right on top. Perfectly it. fine. Yeah. Very so cool. the acne, uh, people with acne don't need to worry about it. It's not going to irritate your skin because of the formulation. Now, is this a travel kit? That or? is a travel kit. So okay. those are travel sizes. I don't have sample sizes. Okay. You don't get a result from the sample. So okay. uh, we don't do samples. So, um, so See, the, the girl didn't play around when she was looking at this stuff. She... She went up just like she said, you're not going to get a whole lot from samples. Just oh, go yeah. ahead and get the travel size. Right. Yeah. And it's still, this is probably six weeks. Really? And then this is a once once a week mask. Been using this. No, 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 no. This Is this what I've been using? You know, I, I was thinking about that. You what gave it to me to give to my daughter and I didn't give it to her. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't give you another one. Is it green? Yeah. Yeah, this, this one. So this is a, an AHA. So but that says mask. I didn't, it's I, a mask. What have you been doing with it? I've just been using it at night and eating it. Your skin looks great. Then it's like, not. Uh, thank you. But no, you need to take it off. Is it then really it's, hard? It's, I don't think that. No, no, no. It's oh, a, you, you gave me a moisturizer. Yeah, so I gave you sage and citrus. That's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. Because I was like that. mask. This is not a mask. Yeah. So no, that's the sage and citrus is, is beautiful because it has a little bit of a stringy <laughs> quality in it. I was getting worried for a second. It's great for your daughter. <laughs> yeah, my daughter. <laughs> that's right. You've got to use that. I'm supposed to give it to her, yeah. So anyway, and then this is a this is a firming cream, and then this one's not quite as thick. Now firming cream, where would you use that? Anywhere you want to firm up. I no, so, see this. Look at this. See the bags. You got anything for that? Yeah. Really? Several things. Well, the first thing is I would do a lymphatic massage mm-hmm. to push some of that water out. See, I was always told not to touch under here because the the, the elasticity is not good under your right. eyes, and that you're just stretching out. Yeah, the skin you don't. Want, more. You don't. But what I would do. This way, and it's about the weight of it's about the weight of a nickel on your finger. Is you just push this fluid 
right here. Uh huh. And you gotta work it. Because I got dark fluid. circles under my eyes. So, so that's probably a little bit of blood. Sometimes it's hereditary. Yeah. It's just hyperpigmentation. Yeah. But, but if you're a little bit puffy and you you'll see better. All this, so you have, you have to have some slip. Thank so God, put some product on there. Well, I'm just saying you won't sing better. You sing great. But it's yeah, it's all open up. Your mask is good. All right, so you can just push the fluid from here really? to the lymph nodes and then down. So it's it's a process. Okay, cool. But yeah, so we would do that, and then there are a couple products um, for eye treatments. I use I <clears throat> I use this one for about a minute, but this is the uh, anti puff eye gel. Neck lifting cream. That's actually I like it better because it's an eye cream too. So I use this. You know what I do to lift my neck up? I put do? the camera up higher. I know. So I'm so glad you did that too. Me too. Because this is this is this is elasticity. Is a you got thing. I I'm gonna I'm gonna take the camera and I'm gonna show them right here. Look oh. at all this. Look oh, at all the stuff she's got there. Oh, it's backwards anyway. That's backwards anyway. Yeah, I just want to see, see nice all, of, all the variety of products you've got. If you go to Gigi yeah, Thomas everything. Aesthetics. Yeah, now, if people... I have, hear, I hear, because of the potassium. So is it potassium yeah. or potassium? Potassium. Okay, I knew that. <laughs> it's just not going to penetrate. Yeah. For it to work, it needs to penetrate and get into the bloodstream. And See, that makes sense, right? That does make put sense. A, put something here and it's just going to sit there and... Maybe a little bit will get in, but yeah, you got to get the products into the system. That makes sense. And that's why Cosmosuticals, they penetrate. Now, if somebody's watching and they do not live in the Orlando area, mm -hmm. so they can't come in to get a facial, but right. they're interested in your products, can they call you? They should. I mean, yeah. you can go online. The number's the on the back of the product, too. Yep. It's, it's, well, it's, it's kind of hard to see, though, but it says questions. Please call. There's the phone number and the website. Okay, cool. Go to the website. You know, type in my name, you'll find it. Um, I would like for them to call because I just want to talk to people. Yep. Let's see what they're doing. If not, then go to the website, the Shop shop Now tab, mm -hmm. and then that'll take you to the categories of, of products and just look at everything. It's pretty, I mean, they're all of the ingredients are listed because I always tell people shop by ingredients, not by product. And that's so, what she did when she was researching this. Yes, she wanted to see what yes. the ingredients were about. What the ingredients were and... Um, yeah, now, I, can, I can tell you, let me ask you about when people go on, they're watching TV late at night and they see a beautiful superstar actress model on there pushing their products and stuff. Did they actually go in and research this stuff, you think? Or do you think they just so, gave their name? You know, I honestly, you don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't think so. I think I'm, that, I think that plastic it. surgery is a wonderful Thing. Yeah. First of all, yes, because that's part of an esthetician's job mm -hmm. is to get that skin in the best condition so that we can have plastic surgery. So, so it's that's healthy. Filled. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then for those young women, they're beautiful anyway. What are we talking about? Mm -hmm. Their skin's tight and fabulous, and so yeah, they're not researching a whole lot. They get paid <laughs> though, which is good. And I would do it. I would get some young, beautiful face. Absolutely. Well, you know. But I just like the fact that you went in and you researched these. Oh and it's yeah. All about the ingredients to the you ingredients and the packaging. you're certified and you aren't just certified just to sell this stuff you can no. actually teach people about yeah it. i'm a certified instructor uh for advanced treatments mm -hmm. so that's going to be those things that i mentioned um you know the, the chemical peels the oxygen light therapy microdermabrasion those things and one of the things i really like what Gigi does is if if there's something that she feels like is beyond her uh expertise She's not just going to go, oh, well, here, use this. She's going to send you to the right place. I absolutely will. Yeah. Absolutely. Sometimes I need a doctor's help. Yeah. So if you don't have a good dermatologist, then then I can refer you to somebody. It just drives that. me crazy when somebody says, well, no, you don't need to do that. Here, use my stuff. <laughs> it's like, well, maybe your stuff isn't right. And I think that's more honest than anything it, else. It's, and like I said, I'm not a hard sell. And if what you're using is working, then you keep using it. I keep using it. Unless mine's, because mine's going to work. Mine might be a better price. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the difference, too. The yeah. price point. Price uh, point is really good. Yeah. And I keep it that way. And thank you to my manufacturer, who they rock, because they're so good. They are just so above board. Um, I've not been disappointed yet with anything I've gotten from the manufacturer. And they keep it doable. They do. They, now, they're great. Now, do they have to go online to order stuff, or can they call you? directly or can they go through Facebook and they say, can do how they can call me directly they can go to my website and order stuff 
they can put a note on Facebook of him. Mm -hmm. So just make sure that I, yeah, so I can get back to Facebook. But yeah, a lot of my clients do order through Facebook. And I'll put posts up. I'm ordering anybody needs something. So. Yeah. That's cool. One of the popular things that I've seen right now is the uh, the sunscreen. Go Granny. <laughs> Jeff Go Granny. Go Granny, yeah. Jeff, did you forget who you're talking to? <laughs> 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 What's that say up there? Oh, gone. Oh, that was, I got a notification. So okay. I joined one of my other Facebook pages. Oh, that, oh pages, my gosh, so. she's so busy. <laughs> well, if you're just joining us, obviously it works. Look at that face. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Look oh, at this. Yeah. See, he Look recovers this. so well. She uses the products, and I, like I said, we've known each other since we were three. <laughs> and now we're 30. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, but uh, uh, like I said, I've, got, I've been meaning to remind people, if you see the little red button up here, that means we're live. What time is it now? It is. Uh, it is. 7.35. Oh, wow. We've been going for a half an hour. That's great. Yeah. So, uh, but if you don't see the little red button there that says live, that means that it was recorded earlier, which that always cracks me up. If it was recorded, then it was earlier. <laughs> it's... <laughs> well, I've seen that it said, uh, this was pre-recorded. Well, of course it was pre-recorded. How can you not pre-record something? That's like saying pre-boarding a plane. You can't pre-board a plane. Pre yeah, either you board it or you don't. That's it. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. There's no messing around here. <laughs> Straight to the point. It was recorded earlier, okay? That's it. That's it. So you can... Uh, but I have a question. Go ahead. If it was recorded earlier and someone goes on, how did that work? Because I did it with you earlier. Yes. Well, uh, when we finish, we're going to hit finish on the uh -huh. button right there. This is your lesson in Facebook Live. Yeah, too. right. So... Then it'll pop up and say delete or share, and you'll hit share. And then it stays on your Facebook page until you, if you ever decide. To right, call and it I can delete. answer questions, right? Yes. So if, if it's on there, they ask questions, uh -huh. they can answer. They can watch it. They can fast forward it. They can stop and ask you a question. And then you'll get a notification that says, so-and-so ask you a question. And you go in there and you can answer it. Very so good. She's learning. Well, I'm learning lots of things. Like, I'm learning that I should wear a better bra. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> With this. Me like, too. or maybe just, you know, because I was bad. <laughs> yeah, I just threw her in there. So I'm like, by the way, we're going live like now. She was like, what? I was in the bathroom. <laughs> you get back on her. <laughs> so funny. So the next time, we're going to be doing a song and dance routine. No, we're we not. We could. No, we can't. Oh, we absolutely well, she can sing. When he can sing. Andrew I'm an actor. I act like I can all. sing. He does act like he can sing and he pulls it off. So, You're very good. Thank you. He I just act all. stupid. No, he's very, very, very <laughs> And it's not an act. <laughs> and you know, he has his hands in everything. Well, not yeah. everything, but you do a lot. So you, because you're in a start. I just try to keep from getting a real job. That's all. Oh my gosh. He's so busy. So he sings, he dances, he does shows. He has a convention, um, not a convention center, but he has a company. Mm -hmm. Tell them what it is because I can't get it right. Sunburst. I have a, I have an entertainment company, and then we also uh, I produce the Sunburst Convention yeah, yeah, of Celebrity Impersonators. Right. So Jeff Ritchie, yeah, good on out here. Yeah, he can he can do any opera star probably. Really? Oh yeah. yeah. So, but you also um, you're getting into a new field. Um, I'm speaking. Speaking, yeah. So keynote speaker. Yes. You can do, yeah. About what? Anyway. About, I'm going to talk about my career. Are you on So, yeah. Oh, that's great. That's I'm going great. to talk about my career in an entertaining and learned way so that there is a point at the end of it. And my point would have been try not to get a real job, but that didn't sell. So, <laughs> well, why not? It's no. It's just reality. I know. It is for you anyway. I know. No, my point is going to be about how to take things that happened to you as a surprise that you weren't expecting. Right. And instead of freaking out and going, oh my God, this is horrible. How you take that and go, let's turn this into something positive and fun. You know, Which you can do with anything, right? Anything. Any you can do it with anything. And you, well, you are the guy to do it. I just, I've always, I, I, I've always been a positive thinker. Yes, you have. I I'm remember a positive that thinker. And I think that's the way to be. And when you are dressed up like a pirate, we love or a hillbilly. We kind of like that. She likes it when I do Jack Sparrow. Oh, my goodness. He's in my shower. Ridiculous. My daughter could be like, Mom! <laughs> I know. We were just talking the other day, and 
I was talking to my wife and I said, yeah, I've known Gigi uh, for a long time. And I met her when she, you had just had Natalie. Right. And yeah. um, she said, so Natalie must be like almost 30 now. And I'm like, no, she, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <There> she is. <laughs> She's almost 30. So how old are we? Mm -hmm. Almost 60. Well, yeah. I am. You're not. But yeah. Yeah. I'm 55. Baby. And look at this face. Look at this face. Oh, mine. Yours. Well, you know what? I'll just show you this. So see this? I've not had Botox, although I love Botox. This is a direct result of topical application of vitamin C for Seriously? 14 years. Absolutely. I'm sure of it. So if you want to look it up on your own, um, I don't like Google so much because you can find anything. Mm -hmm. Go to Google Scholar. Uh, Google Scholar will give Never you the advice. See, yeah. I learned something. So vitamin C, topical application of vitamin C, was um, studied in the 90s by at Duke, user, Duke University. And really? they did conclude with all the testing that it will produce collagen. So vitamin C activates the um, stimulates the production of collagen. So that's where the fine lines, I know. But they're not all created equal. So that's the thing, right? I'll just give you one little secret about vitamin C. If it's not in a pump, don't buy it. Yeah. If it's in a jar. You were talking about the container earlier. Yeah, because if air gets in there, it's uh, going to oxidize. So that beautiful, clear vitamin C is going to turn brown. It's not doing you any good. Well, that's good. I mean, that, that's good. Yeah, it's not doing you any good. Anyway. Gotcha. So that's just one little tidbit. Cool. Well, we're going to do this again next week. But in the meantime... If you have any questions for Gigi, uh, just write them below, or you can send her a message here on the Facebook page. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I'm moving down. I no, Gigi <laughs> since 1980. Yeah, it's Six Flags. I was gonna but, say, did he yes, perform at Six yes. Flags with you? That's cool. I saw a picture of you yeah. on Facebook from <laughs> Six Flags. Oh my God. What show did you do there? Um, I did three. So, really? So, uh, 79, 80, and then was it 82 or 81, Jeff? I'm, I'm because I met Michael Branson while I was working there. And Which I Six Flags in. was it? So Six Flags over in America, it's outside of St. Louis. Oh, no kidding. So yeah, so I did Jazz Crazy and then um, Gotta Sing, Gotta Dance. And oh my goodness, I can't remember the last show. I didn't think I ever heard uh, was that. Was that owned by King's Dominion, the same people? Not no, there's Six Flags. Is by yeah, Six my Flags. brother worked for Carol Wins in 79 uh, and did a show called Hooray for Hollywood. Oh, Hoffman, they're so good. <laughs> they're great. Yeah. I have still Facebook friends, a lot of people that were in the show with that. Yeah, that's cool. Well, anyway, say bye, Gigi. We're going to leave. Bye-bye. That's good. Thanks bye, for Jeff. hanging Can't there with us, here. Jeff. And uh, anybody else, write to Gigi. Call her and check out ggthomasesthetics.com. Thank you. And we'll Thank see you, you next time. Great. You're welcome. Bye. bye. All right, so you hit that little button right uh -huh. there. Finish. Oh, it's on.